Hey, what's happening guys? Saul K here, founder of Thriving Musician and Thriving Musician. It is day six of the video blog series and I had something happen at a gig this morning that I wanted to relate to you guys and I think in it contains a lesson that I want to give to you guys. So basically I showed up to a, a service gig that I was doing this morning and they double booked it. So it was me and another artist and we got there about five minutes before it's supposed to start and I took one look at her, she looked at me, and I said, uh, let's do it together. Let's do it together. And so we ended up playing together and then ended up actually working out really well. And you know, the, the takeaway for me was you know, sometimes the universe conspires to make cool things happen, collaborations with other musicians that might not have ordinarily happened. But the other thing that I want to extract out from it is the idea of competition, which, you know, there's a lot of competition in the music business and competition is actually good. It makes you better. It makes you a better player, a better songwriter, a better performer, better marketer. Um, but the, the thing that I want to tell you guys that I think is really important to keep in mind is there are more gigs than you could do in a hundred lifetimes right now, happening right now, simultaneously all over the world. Now I know when I first started out, I had such a small, market that I was working with. I was living in Berkeley and there was basically like this one place. Like if I could only play this one place, everything would happen, you know, and call them five times a day. And I finally played it. It was a, this Irish bar called the Starry Plow. Um, and finally, when I expanded my vision of what was possible and I expanded the types of venues I played in, the types, times of day that I would play in, you know, and, and at, at a certain point later in this video blog series, I'm going to give you a bunch of different markets that you can explore in terms of venues for playing and for producing your music. But when my vision was so narrow, I felt like, God, there's only there's only one gig. There's only one type of gig that I can do and I have to get this gig or or my career is over, you know. And so and in addition to that mindset was the idea of I'm competing with these musicians to get this gig and, you know, I got to be better than them and I got to push them out of the way. and all that stuff which now I've gotten over because I realized that there are so many gigs. There are just more gigs than you could ever do in your lifetime. And so I want to just stress the importance of two things. One, that there are plenty of gigs. Two, that collaborating with other artists is a good thing. And one extra bonus point, which is competition is good. and as opposed to looking at other musicians and other artists that are in your genre or that are close to your genre as competitors competing for the same gigs, why don't you try to see if there are other opportunities where you can collaborate with those artists either on the gig itself or around the gig, around production of the gig to, um, to support each other and to cross promote. Because if you promote another artist, they're going to promote you and you promote them to your list and they'll do the same. And so you get this synergy happening where people help cross promote each other. And to do that on Facebook is actually super easy now. You can also do it on people's emails list. So uh, that's it for today. And keep it short, keep it under five minutes. I hope you're doing great. Uh, for more information, check out thrivingmusician.com and I hope you're having a blessed day and go out there and get some great gigs, make some great music and I'll see you soon.